So hello everybody and welcome to the end of 2019. It's been an absolute bumper year for iPhotography. We have seen so many new students join our course. We've had thousand more uploads to the galleries and there's been so many changes going on. We just wanted to walk you through a couple of the highlights that you may or may have not noticed that we've changed in 2019. So we've updated the front end of our website. What that means is that when you log in or when you first come to the website, you get a completely different experience as if you did 12 months ago. We've got lots of new testimonials, lots of feedback and case studies from our brand new students, just to make the website look a little bit more inviting to those new students coming on board. We've rapidly been increasing the amount of blogs that we've been producing as well. We've noticed from a lot of feedback, students wanted to get more tips a little bit quicker and more often. So what we've done is that every week there's been some sort of new blog, guide or video coming out on the iPhotography website. You can check them out still now and try and get to grips with some new techniques and new tricks. Now another subtle change that you may or may not have noticed is that we've changed our URL. So instead of being called the iPhotographyCourse.com, we're now iPhotography.com. And that's simply because we've added a lot more courses to our portfolio and we wanted to show the change in that we've become more of a wider community than just one course. And whilst we're on that topic, we also released four brand new courses in 2019. Starting off in April when we released the portrait course which had thousands of you on the waiting list and it became an instant success almost overnight. Then in June we redesigned and revamped our Photoshop course to become iPhotography PS. This widens our school of training to be able to give you photography advice as well as digital artistry. Then in the following month we decided to move our Lightroom course into the public domain. So whereas before it was only made as a members only add-on, you can now learn iPhotography Lightroom whenever you want. And if that wasn't enough, in August we released our iPhotography at Home Projects course, a video-based course for you to use along with your friends, your family, your children, your grandchildren in learning photography at home. So if you've been a member of one of our courses in 2019, you've no doubt heard about the launch of one of our brand new products, which is the iPhotography flip cards. We started off with a set of 12, covering camera basics, composition ideas, and a few other bits and tricks. And since it proved so popular, we then announced the iPhotography expansion pack with another 12 field guides added to the set. So alongside our iPhotography flip cards, we've also just recently launched our challenge boxes. So these are fantastic Christmas presents to give. They're packed with different ideas for new photographers, a little desktop calendar, really there to kind of give you a little bit of inspiration, good motivation to begin with 2020. So check out our website, we'll be sending out emails if we haven't already, check out the iPhotography challenge boxes. So what does 2020 have in store for you and iPhotography? Well, I can't tell you too much just now, but we have got some really, really fun, amazing, interesting, big changes coming to our platform very, very soon. You're gonna hear about them in the next couple of weeks and months. So make sure you're tuned in to your emails, the iPhotography dashboard, and all our social media channels. So thank you again very much for watching. We'll see you in 2020, starting off with a big plus.